Errors can occur when a step in a process is skipped. Sometimes those errors will turn into defects. In the motion step method or sequence method, the focus is on ensuring the process steps are followed before starting the next stage. Not allowing the mistake to be made in the first place is a great place to start. The motion step method essentially determines whether the necessary steps in the process have been followed. Color coding, labeling, tagging, and other forms of visual management are common motion step methods and used all the time in polka yokes. These are inspected to ensure the prior steps were performed before the current step can begin. This oftentimes includes sensing or tracking motions or steps that may occur in the process. For example, if a process step has established a cycle time and the step is not executed in the appropriate cycle time, this may cause the machine to send a warning or even a control in the form of a process stop. The motion step method oftentimes uses sensors and other devices to track and count steps as they occur. If the step or movement does not occur when it should, or occurs after or before the appropriate time, the sensors will trigger the equipment to send a warning and may stop the machine to regain control of the process. In other circumstances, a process may be established with items that are laid out in a sequence. This helps the operator fill out the appropriate information in the correct sequence or select the appropriate items at the appropriate time. Keep in mind that the heart of Pokeyoke is error proofing. We've outlined the contact method, fixed value method, and the motion step method. But, like any continuous improvement tool, you may discover other methods as well. As long as you improve and prevent errors and defects, those methods should be used too. We'll see you in the next lecture.